folks, this is the Wyoming Dutch Oven Cooking Channel, and today Tamara has got a humdinger of a recipe for you. It's going to be good, and it's not going to be done in a Dutch oven today, it's going to be done in a cast iron skillet, also known as a frying pan, or, you know, husband straightener outer. <laughs> That's it. And, she was out and got some farm fresh rooster, belt, rooster bullets, uh, I meant to say eggs for you today to use in this recipe. So, without further ado, I'm going to turn this over to Tamara and she's going to tell you all about this recipe. Yes, I'm Tamara with Wyoming Dutch Oven Cooking. Welcome to our cooking channel today. And as you just heard, I think my husband is a comedian out of work, but I love him dearly and he helps me tremendously. What we're doing today is uh, a chocolate chip cookie in a 10 inch cast iron skillet. We would love to be doing this outside up in the mountains somewhere, but guess what? We are still on house arrest here in Wyoming. That's how I'm thinking it is right now because the forest fires are so bad right now. The smoke is so heavy. So we're coming up with all kinds of wonderful fun things to do inside, which is great for you people that love to cook inside anyway and you don't like to cook outside. Okay, what I'm going to do first here is I've already um, melted butter and I've prepared my cast iron skillet here. And so that's all ready to go. And I've already put in my KitchenAid mixer here, um, two sticks of butter, which equals one cup. I'm going to go ahead and get this kind of mixing up here. And that's nice and soft. Shut that off. And now you're gonna, I'm going to add my sugar. And these are one fourth cups. So I'm going to add three fourths cups of packed brown sugar. You gotta tell them that that is a 10 inch cast iron skillet you're using today. Uh oh, did I goof? No, you didn't goof. It is a 10 inch cast iron skillet. Okay, there's three of those. That's your packed brown sugar. And then I'm going to do three of these, which equals three-fourths cups. So that's three-fourths cups of each of these sugars. And then I'm going to mix this real well. I love this KitchenAid mixer. My husband bought this for me when we first got married years ago, and I can't tell you what that was because that would give away how old we are. Yeah, they shipped it over from on an ark. No, they didn't make them back then. Anyway, we're going to let this mix just enough that they get blended well together. And of course, you scrape down the sides, which I'm sure all of you cooks know this. That looks mixed real well. Now I'm going to add those wonderful farm fresh eggs. You know, I wish that I was able to have um, chickens and have my own farm fresh eggs. But I'm very fortunate. I have a dear friend that she supplies me with the most beautiful eggs. My goodness. I know you probably can't see it, but this one is so beautiful. It's speckled. You know, they're just very, very well-kept chickens. They range free. They're, they're just loved. Okay, there's one egg. We're going to add that, and then I'm going to mix that, and then I'll add the other one. Sometimes we're fortunate enough that we get double yolks, but today I'm thinking these eggs are small enough we're not going to. And you want to mix this so it's light and fluffy. That looks good. I'm going to go ahead and add my other egg. You know, and you can go to the description below and it'll give you the, you know, the main ingredients, what I'm putting into this. And if you don't, 
if you have your own favorite chocolate chip recipe, go ahead and use it. What is really fun about this whole deal is you get to bake it in this cast iron skillet, and boy, does it turn out yummy. We have friends that are coming in this evening from out of town, so we're going to have a wonderful dessert for them. Serve this with a little bit of vanilla bean ice cream, some hamburgers. Life is good. All right, once again, I'm going to scrape the sides down here. You know, we sure hope you're enjoying this with us today. We would absolutely love it if you would subscribe. And all that does when you subscribe, it just, you are alerted that every Tuesday, my husband and I put out another wonderful, fun video, which is absolutely wonderful. And boy, if you go on to our channel, we have a lot of wonderful, fun things out there. Really unique recipes that most people don't come up with. My husband and I are quite creative. We come up with some really fun ones. Okay, the next thing I'm going to add is, I've made this so many times that I do have to double check my recipe. I am putting in one teaspoon of baking soda and two teaspoons of vanilla. I love this Madagascar um, vanilla. It's pure vanilla extract. You know, and there is a fair amount of alcohol in here, so if you wanted to serve it over ice, you could, but we prefer not to. Anyway, you put two teaspoons of this in here. So there we go on that. We'll mix that up real well. I know the ladies years ago didn't have a mixer like this, that they either did it by hand or one of those old sunbeam mixers, which my mother had one of those, and it worked just fine. And once again, we're going to scrape the sides down to make sure that we get everything mixed together real well. I don't know if I told you this, but I, we love it when you, when you people leave a comment and let us know what we're doing, how we're doing, if there's something they would like us to do, give us some feedback. That would be absolutely wonderful. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to add is my flour. You know, I always keep a dishcloth handy to wipe off your hands and keep things semi-clean. I'm going to be adding two and a fourth cups of flour. Now with cookies, you don't have to be so careful as you would be as you, if you were making a cake. You know, if you're over or under a little bit, you're totally fine. But you just put that in there, then measure, kind of smooth off the top there. And I'm gonna go ahead and add all of this at once and you just mix it real slow. This is just an all-purpose flour. You antique lovers, if there's any of you out there watching this, and this is a fourth cup, so we're just going to go ahead and add this. I don't know if anybody has noticed, but my containers that I'm using here for my flowers and sugars are antique coffee jars. And they are just absolutely wonderful. They're very, very old. I've had them in my life for a long time. We love antiques. Our whole home is filled with antiques. I guess that's why we kind of like cast iron, too. Because most of our cast iron came from when I was young, from my folks' ranch. Okay, we're going to mix this together. Just all that flour is mixed in real well. And I love to use Ghirardelli chocolate chips, but you can use whatever you like to use. And I'm gonna put this whole package in here. And the ones I'm using today are milk chocolate, because my husband loves milk chocolate. You know, you gotta keep these men happy. 
And then I have a cup of coarsely chopped walnuts. You can either use walnuts or pecans, whatever your preference is. Or if you don't like nuts, you can skip the nuts. Yeah, because well, I've got grandkids that do not like raisins and nuts. Can you figure that one out? But you know, I'll give them a couple years, they'll change and they'll come to visit and they'll want me to do all the things that they told me not to do. Am I right on that, Gary? Oh, yeah. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and add my chocolate chips and we will just go ahead and mix this together just till everything is mixed real well. Actually, I love the milk chocolate too. A lot of people like the dark, semi sweet chocolate, but whatever your preference is, is just perfect there. Of course, I'm going to put this on real slow, or I'll have cookie dough flying all over the place. Oh, boy, is this going to be good. And then I'm going to spread this out evenly in my castor and skillet here. And we're going to start out baking this at 375 for about 20 minutes. But I'm going to put all my cookie dough in here, so this is going to be a pretty fat cookie, pretty fat cookie. Okay, that looks good. And you'll know when it's done when you take and put a toothpick in the center and it comes out clean. In that rack. That is right. You know, he's he's it's been quite a few years in training, but he's he's coming around. All right, here it goes. We're just one step away from having dessert. Oh my goodness, is this going to be wonderful. Of course, you know, you cut this like a pie, and I'll be showing you that. And, um, of course, we are definitely, after it cools a bit, because you want it to cool for a bit. And then we're going to serve it with vanilla bean ice cream. You can serve it with whatever you want to serve it with, but... There's enough chocolate and stuff going on. We're thinking, you know, vanilla ice cream kind of is the perfect thing for chocolate, chocolate chip cookies. And I told you, this is going to be one fat cookie. And if you do not want to do this, you can go ahead and divide this dough and make it into two of them. But um, we're going to simplify this today and make one fat one. Anyway, we're going to kind of even this out, as even as you can get it. Like I told you, I buttered this cast iron skillet. It is a well-seasoned cast iron skillet anyway. But just to make sure that, you know, with the chocolate chips, that nothing gets, you know, sticks and burns. So you just do that and get it all evened out. And like I said, you'll be checking this with a toothpick, making sure it's totally done. Oh boy, are we going to enjoy this? There you go. Right now my oven's preheating, and we're going to put this in the oven, start out at 375 for 20 minutes, check it, but we will let you know the stick of a cookie, just how long it's going to take. Oh my goodness, look at this. This turned out absolutely perfect. But I want to tell you, what I'm going to go ahead and tell you to do is bake this at 350 for this much dough. 350 for a good 30 minutes, because at 375 for 20, I believe is a little bit too hot. So I did turn the temperature down a bit and baked it for another 10 minutes. So my goodness, of course, we put vanilla bean ice cream on here. We're going to enjoy this. And you know, and what our motto is, and I'm sure if you're watching our videos, you know what it is. Great food shared with family and friends equals great times. Until we meet again, thank you.